Hello to all my picking friends and family. Uh, I've been missing y'all. Uh, sorry, I hadn't had a video up in a while. It's been real busy around here with the church and different things going on. I've had family members in the hospital and such. It's just been a busy month and a half, two months or so. But I have been out finding some things and uh, I, I've got to get caught up also on watching some of y'all's videos. I've been behind, just not been able to be in the office and seeing some things. Today it may be a long video. I'm going to try my best to run through everything that I found here over the past few weeks, including my find of the year so far. And maybe uh, percentage-wise, it may be the find of my year for sure. Uh, I'll get to that towards the end of my video. Well, let me just jump into it and get started. I uh, I answered a little ad that somebody had was selling a Nintendo 64, and I paid $65 for the unit and the games. There were 14 games. Depending on the games, that's a good price. I know you're saying $65, but uh, here's Mario Party 2, Mario Kart 64, Mario Smash, and I could just go on. The games alone bring on eBay over 120 bucks. That's why I jumped on the unit. I can double my money easily. Uh, a neat little find I, I got at the one of the uh, thrift shops. I found these old Atari boxes for Atari 2600 games. Well, in this one box, there were no games, but I found the manuals to all the games you could possibly think of with the Atari 2600. All the manuals are there. Uh, and I have several boxes, no games, but I have the boxes in the manuals and I run across the games all the time. Eventually I'll put them together and they sell, some of them uh, sell real well with the boxes and such. Alright, I uh, went to, been to several auctions. I picked up this uh, Aladdin lamp, needs to be cleaned off, but these do actually do fairly well. It's, there are no dents in it, it's a, you know, alum, brushed aluminum. I need to get it cleaned up, I'll get a top for it, I run across those fairly regular and uh, get that one put back together and in good working condition these actually sell pretty good it's a neat neat little item oh, got something in my coffee there alright um, let me tell you the, the, the latest great find that I, I found just this past weekend I wasn't going to be able to do a whole lot of anything I had something going on here at the church early in the morning we had a men's breakfast but uh, I said, you know, right after that, I, I went to, I uh, had my son, the youngest son, my three-year-old, and uh, we, we decided we'd hit us a garage sale. And as I went in there looking around, didn't have a whole lot there, but I found this box of jewelry. And when I say box of jewelry, this is the box. And I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'll try to keep it up best I can. There was actually more than this, my daughter's. Have uh, picked through quite a quite a bit of it, but there's some actually some real nice pieces. And I was looking through through here just to, at some of the, the thing. well now they're all getting stuck together. Some nice little bracelets and such. But I noticed there was a, a couple little pieces of uh, silver. So I said, asked the lady, said, how much for the uh, how much for the jewelry? She misunderstood me because I was thinking box of jewelry. She was thinking one piece. She said, um. 10 cent, 25 cent a piece, and uh, depending, and and I said, uh, how about the whole box? And she goes, well, I don't know. How about um, five dollars? I said, so, so I got this box of jewelry. Like I say, there's some nice pieces in there. I'll sell five, ten dollars a piece easily. About four, about four watches, including the watch which I can't show you because I gave it to my wife. It's worth about forty bucks. Uh, a great little watch was in there but here's all this box was in there too nice little jewelry box but all this silver I don't know if you can see that real well I hope hope you can but uh, there's this is all silver and this is silver with uh, other little extras in it but there's almost five troy ounces of silver up in here look at this this one necklace sterling silver necklace that's right at an ounce of uh, I I weighed it. That's right at an ounce of silver right there. Paid off five dollars for all that. Look at about a hundred between one hundred twenty to one hundred and fifty dollar melt value in silver that I found in that box of jewelry, all for five dollars. Outstanding find. <clears throat> Went to uh, auction. Uh, another auction and and I 
I cleaned up at this particular auction. Uh, did real well, and I'm just going to start running through those items. I got this little box that has some jewelry and stuff in it. Um, this here is just, you know, junk, kind of what I call junk jewelry. But uh, it did have actually some sterling silver in it, so I, I got it. I actually paid $5 for this box of jewelry at auction. Everybody looked at it and said, oh, that's just, you know, a little junk jewelry. But I had already looked in it real good, and there were actually several pieces of sterling silver, including this ring, which is solid, even under here. That's all sterling silver, uh, sterling silver uh, earring, an old one. I don't have the pair. I wish I did. Anyway, but I found this neat little little item. It's a tag. It's all sterling silver, but here's what it says on it. Check it out. Four Freedoms War Bond Show, January 21st, 1944. In case you don't know what Four Freedoms are, check out Norman Rockwell. He did four paintings that dealt with uh, freedom and faith and all that. Four different paintings, and they actually took them on tour uh, to, uh, to raise money for the war. And that tag came off of something to do with that um, with that war bond show, it traveled all over the United States. I've got to check into that a little bit more, but that is just a cool little piece. That was up in there, and that's mainly why I jumped on that little box. Paid five five dollars for. Oh, got this at another auction. I mean, twenty bucks for it. Cool little enamel light. Oh, very nice. Got the tag on it. It's in good shape. Somebody can redo that. That's a fine little lamp. I just had to have it. All right. At that uh, same auction, I bought this box. I paid ten dollars for it. Includes these two photos. Two guys. I hope you can see that. Two guys at a gas station. Look at the uh, golf gas uh, gas pump there. Isn't that cool? Another one of another one of those same guys except got him a car out there as well those two pictures were in there also uh, a mercury salesman's handbook and this is actually dated look at there 1940 in just about mint condition it had all kind of neat stuff plus a letter it has a letter in there for this guy uh, from one company to another uh, just a reference letter stating hey he's worthy to be hired anyway that was in there had these uh, postcards were up in there that's of a place here in Mississippi uh, in, in Hattiesburg but it had this booklet in here a salesman a pocket salesman manager for Ford see the Ford emblem back there had some little notes in it but I also had four or five Ford uh, Baron Motor Company postcards in it. Let's see, there's five of them made up. Look at those cars out there from the 1940s there. Uh, another Ford brochure. Oh, and I'm missing my pen. What do I do with my pen? i got to show you my Ford Mercury pen. Pardon me just a moment. Well, I'll run across that pen and, and at some point in time after I get through cleaning all my junk out. Uh, my office has become a mess. I just have got so much coming in and out. I can't find my pen, but it's a little mercury pen with two ribbons coming down. It would have been a, a salesman pen. Salesman's pen. And uh, that was also in that little box that I paid uh, $10 for those Ford items with the Ford pictures. Hey, folks, I found the pen. There it is. Or my uh, youngin stuck it in the in the candy dish, but it is like candy. How about that? Look, look at that. That is a piece of automotive history right there, Mercury Eight. I, I'm going to say that's probably 1940. Uh, probably given to that salesman when he finished that uh, course in 1940. That's in that book that I showed you. Look at that, the original ribbons on there. All right, and uh, oh, I paid five dollars. This is one of the coolest objects I've gotten here lately. Uh, $5 for a box with these two pictures in it. Uh, it's 
it's a picture of a high school football team. This is from 1930 to 31. I know this because it's dated on the back of one of them. They're both identical. Uh, yeah, they're both identical there. But however, what's neat on one of these, on the very back, has all the names, their weight, what position they played, um, the number of years that they have played, who they played that particular year, what the score was. Evidently was a pretty good year for them, looks like. Um, total 100 points to everybody else's 21. I'd say that was a pretty good football team. Somebody, uh, somebody <laughs> decided to write all that information down at the time, and I'm glad they did. That just makes for one cool picture. Mm, mm, mm. I love that. All right. And, uh, oh, another couple of items I found. I've been finding a lot of little games. These are little Leapster games. They sell for about $24 to $28 at Walmart. This is Cars. There's your uh, Disney Princesses. This would be um, Disney Fairies. And Sonic. I paid a dollar for all four of those games. Uh, out of the package and all, they'll sell anywhere from six to eight bucks a piece. All right, and check out that Christmas lights. That is an old box. Look at this. Cool. Save that for Christmas to sell. Nice vintage Christmas items. And let's see what else I got. Fish and tackle box. Pay ten dollars for this. Inside this fish and tackle box, vintage lures. I saw another one just like this one sell on eBay. Uh, the same ones in the box. You can see there's no uh, scanning thing. It's an old one. Uh, old Rebel lure sells for about 10, 15 bucks. Some older lures. All of these sell for five to eight bucks a pop. And there's about five or six of those. There's a an older turkey call uh, that I saw sells for about 15 bucks online um, this makes your little uh, weights uh, that also sells for 10 15 bucks online all that in that one nice vintage toolbox I'll keep the box myself I like it uh, in case those lures don't catch the big enough fish giant tiger uh, Fire Tiger Lure, check that out, still in the box. I paid uh, $32 for him. Uh, the last one I saw sold on eBay for about $65, $68. Bucks. Still in the box, check him out. Alright, now for the find of the year for me so far. Maybe, uh, like I said, per percentage wise, it may end up being the find of the year for me. Um, first of all, uh, the the lady, they were uh, doing an auction for an estate of a lady that had three sisters and uh, the other three sisters had already passed away and she was the latest one to pass away and all the family had waited until all four of the sisters had passed away because they were big time collectors of antiques and such and they did an est estate sale of all of those items thrown together. And one of those evidently was real big into Mardi Gras and the Rex crew especially and in there was a box of pins all these are from the Rex crew um, dating from 1968 to I believe 60 I mean 86 or something like that um, these are specifically pins that the Rex crew receives each year the ladies receive these I don't know if you know what goes on at uh, Mardi Gras but they always uh, each crew has their own party or ball. Uh, they put on a big to-do uh, at Mardi Gras season. And these are only passed out to those who are uh, on the crew invited to the ball. And these are ladies' pins. Like I say, dated from 1968. The little white box that these are in has the date on the bottom as well as the little, as you can see, the black box itself has the date inside of there. And that is a 1968 Rex Mardi Gras pin for the ladies. 
this pen just sold for a hundred and fifty eight dollars I believe on eBay the last one that I saw anyway um, these all these pens I paid fifty five dollars for this box that's right that's about two dollars and seventy five cents per pen the cheapest ones sell on eBay for about thirty something dollars you can check them out um, all the way up to that hundred and fifty sixty bucks a pop for each one of these these two down at the bottom that I don't I know you can't see there's an 81 1981 and 1982 and these are made by I'm sure you can't read that but we'll see Tiffany and Company that's right two of them made by Tiffany in, in the 1980s also some of the older ones are marked West Germany I think there are about four you see the four or five of them I, that I, I've it's been a while since I looked at them over, over a week. So I see the four or five that are marked West Germany. Paid $55 the whole box. I'm excited to see what's going to go on there. But that is only part of the greatest find for this year. The next is a box of Mardi Gras doubloons. I know you're thinking, what? what? A box of doubloons. It had doubloons and it had some, uh, of course, Mardi Gras beads and such in it. And I found. Most of these were uh, 1960s and 1970s doubloons. Now, regular doubloons, uh, they don't sell for a whole lot because they made hundreds of thousands of them each year. Um, let me just back up. In that box of uh, the beads and such I found, I found this necklace. It's heavy. This isn't a Mardi Gras necklace. This is a necklace made, you can check them out, Miriam Haskell, Miriam Haskell, check out her jewelry on eBay, her necklaces in particular, and the cheapest ones you're going to find are selling for about 40 bucks. Let me tell you I, what I paid for the doubloons, $12.50 for the box of doubloons and the, um, and the, the, the beads and such. That's only one item, that's nothing. Uh, there's no telling what I'm going to end up getting for all these because some of these are hard to find even though they made a bunch of them. Some of them, they, they made certain colors. They only made a few of them that sort of thing. And there are a few of those in here I've already checked. I'm going to make some good money. But however, the one that I found that's going to bring the money, let me explain. This is a 1960 Rex Crew doubloon anodized gold anodized check it out the regular aluminum 1960 doubloon goes for about 35 bucks the reason being the the plain aluminum one which would be nice a nice color about like that um the regular the regular ones sell for that much because the that's the first year and those are the first doubloons made for Mardi Gras they decided in 1960 a fellow uh, was decided hey let's make these doubloons and they made them for the Rex crew and they made only about 30,000 I believe that first year if my number's not wrong but that's about right and every year after that they made hundreds of thousands of these things but they only made about 3,000 of them anodized gold which that one is these sell for about hundred and sixty eight seventy five dollars all the way up to two hundred and fifty just depends but I got even better than that in 1960 when they made these the king of the parade for the Rex crew there were 330 of the anodized ones dated with 1960 you see they didn't put the date on them because they thought well if they don't do all that well this year we'll throw them out the next year and the following year till we finally get rid of them but they had 330 of them dated and I don't know if you can see the date is on this side On 330 of them made in 1960. I've already had an offer, a lowball offer of $300 for it. Uh, several folks have told me they paid anywhere from $500 to $1,000 for this particular doubloon. And if you can imagine, after the hurricane, bunches and bunches of doubloons are gone. And I got the king of the crop right here. I mean, if you're a doubloon collector, you've got to have one of these in your collection. So. That's my find of the year. Hey, y'all, I have enjoyed it. 
I'm missing y'all. I'm going to get back to uh, doing some videos on a regular basis for you and let you uh, know what all I find and just some other odds and ends. Hey, love God, love others.